This is a continuation, part two of two, a Gmod mapping jumpstart tutorial, created by Abe, the GPC team leader. Hi, welcome to another GPC Hammer Source SDK video tutorial, brought to you by Abe of GamePublicist.com. By popular demand by the GPC team, today I present to all a fairly simple tutorial on how to make a basic map quickly for the Gears Mod video game. In this video, I'll be covering how to use the block tool, skyboxes, spawn points, and a little coverage on the hollow feature and the camera tool. Plus, we'll use the carve tool to make even your first Gary's Mod map stylish. So that is a summary of what is covered in this two-part tutorial. One thing that I did want to bring up is things with the 3D view. Um, a friend of mine brought up the difficulty he was having selecting objects to texture. Um, and I explained to him that it is much easier to select objects with the selection tool from inside the 3D view than any other view, especially for a beginner. And when creating objects, starting from the top-down view can be the easiest and most productive means for starting out your map layout. Well, now see we have a nice grass floor. And this little 3D thing here is our center origin. Um, okay, so now we've got grass and we've got a skybox. What else do we need? Well, we need some spawn points. But first, I'm going to make us a nice little platform like they typically have in a skybox uh, or in, in a Gary's Mod map. So what we're going to do is use our block tool. We're going to just drag out a uh, section. Let's see here. So we'll make it... Uh, 2048 by 3072 and you'll see here that it's uh, gonna be made inside so if you just click and drag it up now uh, use your right or your left bracket and change the uh, size of the grid spacing um, until we can bring this down to a nice 16 in height um, now go ahead and hit enter now we've got a piece of grass right here. We're going to go to our selection tool and we're going to grab a brick texture. Okay, so we've got this brick platform. Um, and to make it slightly stylish, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do something special with the block tool, which is use it as something else. You go to the block tool, and then over here on the right, you'll see categories, primitives, and uh, you'll see under the objects category that you can choose arc, block, cylinder, sphere, spike, torus, and wedge. We're going to choose cylinder, and now we're going to make a perfect cylinder that is the, uh, the same width as the object. I'm going to bring my grid out in size here. So we're making a square that's 2048 by 2048. Now go ahead and hit enter. Okay, so we made this. That's a little clunky. So you can hit control Z if you'd like. And what we're going to do is we're going to increase the faces to 16. Now we're going to make this same box again. 2048 by 2048, hit enter. Now we've got sort of some nice curves. If we click Shift X or uh, or we click this carve tool over here, we can just click and drag down and make this line here. And you click it two more times and you'll see both sides are white. Now hit enter. Okay, we just divided that in half. Now if you click off of that and you click on one of the pieces, you can drag that over here and you can move this right here. Okay, so now we've got this little pill-shaped thing, but it looks kind of si stylish, you know, like a Gary's Mod little building grid start-off point. Um, and so now what we need is to add some spawn points. To do that, go to the Entity tool, which is just above the Block tool. You can click the point in the top-down view that you would like the spawn to begin, and then zoom out and... Uh, 
make sure that your spawn point doesn't spawn inside a block. Usually you just put it a tiny increment above uh, any solid block and then it will turn out fine. Um, under entities, choose info underscore player underscore start and just go ahead and hit enter. Okay, so now we've got our we've got a spawn point. And if we go over here, we'll see that it's facing the right direction uh, to what I would prefer. Um, and I'm going to grab this guy, move him over to this side right here, and now I'm going to hold shift before I let, uh, let go of the left mouse button. And now we just made two of these guys. But this guy is faced the wrong direction. So we're going to click him using the selection tool. And we're going to go to edit properties, which is also alt enter. And in the center origin here, we're going to turn it to 180. And we're going to hit apply. Okay, so now he's turned the other way. So now we have a dual set of spawn points, and the guys are facing the right direction. Okay, so if I control click this other guy here, and uh, zoom out a tad, I could easily just hold shift and drag a guy out, hold shift, drag a guy out, hold shift, drag a guy out etc and just make some spawn points real quick uh, who cares about if they're even I mean depending on how perfectionist you are you can certainly do that but uh, I'm a perfectionist and I don't really worry about it I mean oh no he spawned slightly off center wow can't go to sleep at night okay so anyway um, let's uh let's see here okay so we've covered the camera tool the block tool the sky boxes the spawn points um, and we've used the hollow feature to make the skybox, and we use the carve tool to make these nice little pills. So we've actually fully created a map that you can play in Gary's Mod. Basic lighting is very easy. There are a few more complex lighting techniques, but today we'll keep it simple and just add what we call environment lighting to our Gmod map. Using the entity tool, Go to your top view pane. You may need to scroll out or in a little bit. Um, and get your focal point in on the center. Now click the center. And then go to your side view pane. And drag it up here. Or just click up toward the top below the skybox. Um, assumingly above land. Uh, but keep it away from the inside of a brush model or you will possibly end up with no light when you go to load your map. Now in the same manner that you grabbed a couple spawn points, you will go over here to entities and under objects go to light and environment or you can choose it on the drop down menu um, and go ahead and hit enter. Alright so now we've got our environment lighting you'll have the default lighting features and that's great for now we'll have um, a sky and uh, some nice generally uh, realistic lighting so this covers part two of designing a basic gmod map in the hammer source sdk editor the next gpc video feature in sequence will be covering how to export your first map and open it in game so that you may play your gmod level on your own inside gary's mod Plus, we'll list some places to go to release your map to the public if you feel confident enough of your achievements. This has been a publication brought to you by Abe at GamePublicist.com. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video useful, please be sure to provide it with a good rating or by posting in the comments section. Have a great day. Please post any questions, suggestions, or criticism that you may have. Thanks.